Um, if I've got a number in my mind, right? Uh, not one of the picture cards, we'll ignore, ignore the picture cards, you know, obviously I'm a magician, I'm not playing cards. So if I've got a number in my mind, just literally picture the shape of a suit, uh, brightly and vividly in your mind, and then the number with the suit, so you effectively think of a playing card, yes? Who thought of a red card, actually? Who thought of a red card? Who thought of a heart? I said, um, so if I've got a number in my mind, not if I've got a number in my mind. Oh, the psychic's not too cute. So, right. Right. <laughs> said, yeah. um, so obviously it made sense that it was if I've got a card in my mind, not if five got a card in my mind. Right? It obviously made more sense that I wasn't saying the number five, that I was saying if I. It, it goes unnoticed. By, you'd be surprised how, how easy it is to um, suggest the five of hearts to people. When you have a good rapport with somebody, and if you say, well, five got a number in my mind, because I also um, spatially anchored it here with five fingers as well. But when I've performed this close up, only once have I ever been caught in this. I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times. Only like... You've got a pen and paper there. What I want you to do is to draw me a suit. Obviously not an Armani. <laughs> nice and big, so I can see the pen movements, obviously. <laughs> We've got um, the suit, so this is really easy. All I want you to do is choose a number from 1 to 10, just write that down. You can obviously do a picture card if you want. Um, uh, uh, the ace, jack, queen, or king. Obviously, the ace is the one. Um, so you do a number from 1 to 10, you just write that down, or the picture card. Um, do that nice and big. You guys have chosen the ace of space. Tara, in a nice loud voice, hold it up to the <laughs> Okay, get into pairs and do that. <laughs>